thank you for well, firstly, the, the wonderful report that was presented and the rich discussion from the panelists uh, and, the, and the wonderful questions that were asked, which really helped uh, uh, provoke a lot of thoughts towards this. Um, Dr. Wacker, you mentioned the remit program. Thank you for mentioning that. That's our revenue mobilization um, investment and uh, trade program, which um, uh, we're providing technical assistance through to support policymakers think through how uh, Pakistan can sort of break out of the, the, the boom and bust cycle that has perhaps characterized the past and really unlock that economic potential uh, that the country has. So to really support those within different levels of governments, the private sector across the piece to see how uh, uh, Pakistan can really realize that. Of course, COVID has been a bit of a, uh, well, a, a, a major blip on, in, uh, on the road towards that. Um, and I think my first reflection is from your report, Dr. Wacker, about just the severe impact that COVID has had uh, on businesses across Pakistan, uh, particularly uh, in, in the case of your report, looking at the exporters. Uh, you mentioned in your report 80% increase, 80% uh, of the exporters had faced increases in freight costs. Uh, they had to uh, in, uh, include the additional costs of SOPs. Uh, the significant proportion that had to make redundancies over the past year. I mean, wow, it's been a really tough time globally, but, but, but of course also for the Pakistan businesses here. Uh, and my utmost respect to all those in the private sector who really struggled over the past year to keep their businesses afloat. Uh, and, and for those who somehow managed to find ways through to make their businesses successful despite this really challenging uh, global context. So my utmost respect to all in the business community, to all the workers for those businesses who've also struggled. Um, you know, the report really brings it back uh, to all of us and puts it into sharp focus. Uh, the second uh, reflection I wanted to add in uh, stems from Dr. Saliri's opening uh, remarks where he mentions the new normal. And of course, you know, the new normal we spoke about before COVID, but of course it's become mainstream in our in our dialogue now as we, we, we've all had to adjust to the ways of working that COVID has brought. Um, you know, to consider a slight variant on that phrase and, you know, variant in the context of COVID has got a, a, a meaning in itself now, but a variant on that phrasing is the building back better. Uh, and they're slightly different when we talk about the new normal, which suggests it's about adapting and accepting and adjusting and the building back better, which in a, in, in a sense is a much uh, stronger challenge for all of us intellectually to think, how do we ensure that as Pakistan comes out of COVID, it comes out in a stronger place or on a stronger pathway than when it went in uh, to, 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 to those challenges. And I think the challenge that then poses to policymakers is do we construct our economic policies and our support packages, and this is globally, not just Pakistan, but do we support them to reflect where our economies have been in the past, or do we construct them and tailor them in a way to reflect where we want our economies to go into the future? Uh, and I think this is one of the things which I love so much about the report that SDPI put together, is it really provides evidence to help us unpack those areas for the future. You know, the focus that was very deliberate to include non-traditional exporting sectors into this report to have that focus. Uh, you know, whether it's uh, the service sector, I mean, one thing we have seen very clearly for those of us that have all had to work from home during the, the crisis and have had the privilege to work from home is that you suddenly start seeing that whilst we're cut off in many ways, if you've got a good internet connection, those who are fortunate enough to have it, you know, the world can start becoming very small and you can start getting engagement uh, all around the world. You know, the, the world becomes as small as your phone that fits in your pocket. Um, and I think there are opportunities that can come from that in terms of the service sector in the future. And I think if the more we start to expand uh, our thinking about exports beyond just the good side into the services as Dr. Wakar covered in his report as well, we start seeing where the opportunities for Pakistan to really um, engage even further in the future uh, come from. I think the focus on digital was very welcome as well from my perspective. I mean, it's fascinating to see that I think around 60% of the digital companies were able to increase their revenue during this very challenging period. Um, I, you know, as Dr. Wacker mentioned when he was presenting it, it would be fascinating to unpack that further and find out what it was about that 60% that were able to, to be so successful. Why did the 40% or so struggle more uh, for all of that? 
Um, I think these are really important questions for policymakers now as we get out of, uh, of hopefully as we go towards getting out of uh, COVID. Um, so I think also the, the, the challenge around the firms that missed out on government support during this period, I think very important questions about, you know, why did they miss out? What, was, what were the issues there? What can we learn from that? And what can be built back stronger for, for, for the future to help support uh, a full breadth of uh, exporters that Pakistan has? Uh, finally, just to add in, I think also the green recovery as well is something that needs to be considered. And how does Pakistan ensure, like every other country, needs to start trying to ensure that the trajectory for growth in the future is a much greener one than it has been in the past? Because I think one thing that COVID has shown to us is that uh, as much as we like to ignore the environment and nature, uh, it has its own way of striking back at us if we if we don't take it seriously and we don't try and find ways to to work in harmony with it. So my absolute immense thanks to SDPI, to the Ministry of Commerce and the partners that cooperated with SDPI to put this study together, uh, to the panelists, the parliamentarians, the, the wonderful rich discussion that's happened today. I think it's been brilliant. Um, and you know, being able to involve government at all levels, federal and at provincial level. Great to see KP uh, represented today and, uh, with the uh, Board of Investment. Uh, and I hope very much that this evidence that's been provided can really start promote, you know, can really start provide the fuel for working through what this, this new approach, what the new policies, the new support to exporters can be for the future. Thank you very much.